Now not now. Now Baba Kills. The open cycle phase of the Sobadanavi 350 MW combined cycle power plant in Kerala Pitiya was inaugurated today under the patronage of President Ranil Vikramasinghe. Constructed by Lakdanavi Limited at a cost of 220 million US dollars, Sobadanavi is the first Sri Lankan power plant to be operated on liquefied natural gas as the primary fuel. The first phase of the plant will at 220 megawatts to the national grid while the second phase scheduled to be completed early next year is expected to possess a capacity of 130 megawatts Lakdanavi would not have had the opportunity to construct this power plant if the electricity board was unable to pay its suppliers. The electricity board being able to pay tariffs to its suppliers is what enabled both domestic and foreign investors to invest in renewable energy projects. In 2022, management informed us that the project was unable to continue due to foreign investments being halted. However, we assure them that the president had instructed us on the process of stabilizing the economy and instructed them to continue the project under the assurance that the electricity board would be able to pay the tariffs for the power historically most politicians in the opposition opposed the introduction of an electricity tariff formula and the construction of lng power plants however now they have included those programs in their election promises however i remind you that the programs that the others have only promised are actually being implemented under the leadership of the incumbent president riyatmaga wemin pavatinne vartamana janadhipati warage yatate bawa api Renewable energy is the need, and the more you specialize in renewable energy, the better the chances of going out both in this continent and the African continent. We are now starting our plan of economic development. No development can take place without power. We have to now think of new sources of energy, which will also fit in to the climate change policies of the world. Renewable energy will be the next area of concentration for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. must be a surplus producer of renewable energy and if india singapore power line comes into being we've just got to get on to it next is green hydrogen we have to use it and if necessary new laws should be brought in to allow these power plants to come up quickly now once green hydrogen works just imagine we use it in our three ports especially trincomalee the closest and colombo just imagine what potential we have as a logistic center